we are at the free natural hot springs which is located just across from tabacon um, hot springs hotel and resort so we're doing the free one where you just park on the road where the locals go apparently you go under the bridge to get to it we're here super early i think it's about 7 30 7 45 generally there's people here to watch your car basically to tell you where to park make some money an easy way but they're not here right now so we are gonna so go in extra free then extra free yes <laughs> hopefully Yay! we can find it Yay! but we're gonna head to the hot springs right now let go let go so you walk down this little trail, kind of tough in sandals. And then you go through a fence, it looks like. So we'll see if this is the right area. <laughs> nice, man. I do. Keeping you safe. Keeping all the bad people out. Like touristas. Here we go. I wonder if it's going to be hot or not. It's hot. It's hot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's hot. Nice. Here we go. Perfecto. Free hot springs. My favorite price in the whole wide world. Let's go. So we're here early. There is nobody else here. I think it's about 7.30 a.m. I thought we might even be a little late in the day, but ain't nobody here, so get up, come early, and have a great time by yourself. Hey, yo. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no way! Oh, it's always a sandal. All right, but when you come, watch out for the mud puddle. Looks like a T-Rex was here. What happened it's to the goat? really deep. What is he doing? Okay, just wood? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? It's like he's not doing that to a snake, is he? Okay. But yeah, this is so it said you walk through underneath the bridge, and if you take the dark path, it's the better way. That's what I read online. But maybe that's from the other side. That's from the other side. So it's right. cold when you first step here? It is here. cold. Step one more step. Step, step one more step is hot? Ooh, one more step, it is hot. Wonder if it progressively gets warmer. It does progressively get warmer. What do you think, Ryder? Cool. Look at these pools, we can do a little bath. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, this is great. Ooh. Oh, we had our water shoes and all that. We didn't bring our water shoes, we're so excited. It's more like a warm spring, right? I don't know that it's piping hot, but it's nice and warm. Woo! Got these little pools you can sit in. How you feeling, man? You living the life? Well, this has definitely got to be one of the best free activities I've ever done. Look at this. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's a must. Warmer. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like so hot, like a hot tub, uncomfortable hot. I'm glad it's not, it's awesome. But how dumb does that sound? I'm like the people who write, yeah, it was a little lukewarm. You know, come on, Mother Nature, get it together. No, but it's amazing, it feels great. I was taking Ryder away. We'll never forget you. <laughs> I got scared it was actually taking you away. We are officially on Volcanic Rock and we are literally the only one here and it's super cool. And look at these beautiful trees around us and above us. Absolutely stunning. They're Volcanic Rock. They're not as black as I expected them to. They're more like gray with a tinge of dark green. Ryder, stop! Whoa! You're on like a little sponge. Yeah. The only thing is that every time you move here, you literally are basically hurting yourself. You're basically... It's painful. Yeah, where you're like sucked in. 
but it's fun, but it's a little painful because the rapids, look, the rapids are moving. It's like a very painful natural water slide. And here comes Ryan back with the water shoes. So we were so excited that we left our water shoes in the car. So we're, daddy went and got them and I'm bringing them back. So bring your water shoes, help your feet. I hurt my ankle. So what are you doing at the hot springs, Bubba? Good. Good, fun times, wanna yes. go play? Yes. Let's go. Guess what Charlie spotted. What Amanda doesn't know about that animal is it's the same one from Jurassic Park. You say, hey little guy, I'm just trying to get to the ferry. And then it makes a little noise and it spits black ink in your face and then all its little buddies come out of the Costa Rican forest and they eat you. This is what happens. The more you know. Good spot, Welcome to Ellie's Spa and Hot Springs where we offer the finest of treatment. We're going to be taking you along the tour of treatment. So our first treatment in the LA experience is the coconut bath. Real coconut inside. Put some of our luxurious river water in it. <laughs> and this is what we do. Ryder, would you like to be my client? No. Okay. Okay. You don't drink it. <laughs> so we pour it over. Ooh, a coconut bath? And it's really good for your skin. I thought this was a backpacker's bathtub. Is this not? This is a spa? Yeah, it's a spa. Ooh, looking so good, Bo. And a few Rub. little douses. And his skin is soft as a baby's butt. We also offer sugar, uh, natural scrub to exfoliate your skin. Another one of our little exhibits is our guiding meditation. We just meditate and I tell you what to think about. You picture yourself in there, or you can even just picture yourself in here. I would picture it's myself very in here. Peaceful. All right, so it's happened. We had it all alone for the first hour, but now others have showed up into this wild wilderness, free natural hot spring. So get here early, have it yourself, or if not, hang out with some other people, make some new friends. Here come all the people. We are no longer by ourselves. So we are getting ready to head out. So thanks for coming with us to the free hot springs. Link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Also check out our link for safety wing because my foot still hurts. Hopefully we don't have to use it, but travel insurance is good. And we'll see you at the next place. Here we go. As we are on our way to Monte Verde, we are on really a road. Uh, a, a road. A really <laughs> crappy road. Oh, son of a nutcracker. <laughs> it is bumpy and curvy and hilly. Any other ease? Uh, windmilly. Windmilly. Yeah, there's <laughs> lots of windmills. Um, but anyway, so I heard this is why you get the four by four for when you're on these crazy roads. Yeah, I think it finally came in handy going up this big gravel road, and you see the camera bouncing. Maybe unless the GoPro is so stabilizing, you don't see. Yeah, I don't know. Because right now, now it's doing some weird red light. What does that mean? I don't know. Hopefully, it means we're not. Maybe battery's dying. I don't know. Who well, knows? either way, this road. Is bouncing like crazy. We're we're bopping. We're rocking and rolling. Anyway, so that's this is why you need the four x four. I was gonna say at the end of this trip, I wonder if we needed the four x four. The answer is yes. Yes, maybe only for this part. We'll let you know at the end of Costa Rica if this is the only part that we needed it for. Yep. We'll All right. See how it goes. We'll see. All right. Onward we go. So we just came across a cow 
that is on the wrong side of the fence. And now here goes my wife to go meet the cow. Even there was, even there was was by the windmill, and there, in one of them, there's two ones that there were, were there was one that was by a windmill also. There was one also the, by the windmill. And Ryder saw a cow by the windmill. And it's not well, supposed to be there. That's right. Well, sorry, little lady. We're gonna have to move it right along. Yeah. when cows attack, volume two. I was taking a leak, it didn't like it. You sure this isn't a bull? I'm not sure. I think it's a Yeah, it's got horns, you might. I think it's a bull. Yeah, <laughs> Ellie, I wouldn't get too close there, friend. All right, actually, I'm a little nervous about it here. Well, don't milk that cow. That's a boy. Are you gonna get some fresh milk? Leche? It's a boy. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. This is family channel. <laughs> You're so gross. I don't know about this channel. Skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive 